Gentlemen, every time I go abroad, I'm lying. I'm lying every single time I go abroad. Now, many of you guys know my history, or at least the story of Marcus, right? And if anybody's aware of the story of Marcus, you know exactly what I mean, and the reasons why I do what I do. But for those that are new to the channel, if anybody in the comment section asks about who was Marcus, please explain to them who Marcus is. But every time I'm abroad, guys, I lie. The reason that I lie is because you never know why people are fishing for information from you. Now, sometimes it's just good conversation, just people trying to strike a conversation with you. On the other end, you never know if there's any deviousness behind it. So it's always best to be as vague and as broad as humanly possible, right? If somebody's asking, oh, where, did, where are you staying now? What hotel are you staying here in the area? Even if I'm not staying at that hotel, I'll say I'm staying at the, near, the hotel nearby, Radisson or whatever it is, right? Hopefully you will never divulge too much information about where you're staying, ever, right? So it's always gonna be the nearest place, but if you are happening to stay at the nearest place, just choose another hotel in the area that you saw, right? Never the place that you're actually staying. I have to admit, there's only one person in my life that I've ever seen do this, but this is one of the bossest moves I've ever seen in my life. So this guy bought two Airbnbs for the duration of his stay. One for the play and one just to chill. And when, I, when he told me he did that, I was like, yeah, that's dope. I mean, if your finance, finances can afford it, rather than going to short time hotels all the time, you got your own little clean space that's yours for the duration of the time that you're staying. So again, never divulge where you're actually staying. If people ask you, what is your occupation? Lie. I mean, most of the time, well, if somebody asks me, I do tell them I'm a teacher, but they don't need to know exactly what kind of teacher I am, college professor, high school teacher, whatever it is. They don't need to know that. I just say teacher. Teacher is very, very broad. It's very basic. And I do that because what I've learned is people will try to quote unquote get your salary based on the general average salary of your country in the state that you come from because they may ask you what state that you come from and they'll try to figure out your information that way as too. Granted, it's not going to be too revealing, but still. You never know what and why people are asking these questions for, which is why I encourage you to lie. So you never tell them where you stay. You damn sure don't tell them your real name. And you're very vague about your occupation, right? A lot of people would be like, man, you're being a little overprotective or you're being a little bit oh, uh, presumptuous or you're being a little bit, uh, you know, assuming about people's intent. But wouldn't you rather be proactive than reactive? I've known a lot of guys who's given up their Facebook information and something comes out and it all goes to shit for them because they gave their information to the wrong person. Maybe they were doing something abroad that they didn't think would catch up to them in the United States. Guess what? They got got. So again, I would rather play the proactive approach than the reactive approach. Now I have to try to fix something even though it wasn't broken in the first place or even though I didn't divulge it in the first place. Now because I did it, now all of a sudden I'm in trouble, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you that it's okay to lie abroad, that's what I mean. It's okay. Lie your ass off, right? White lies never hurt anybody. I'm not talking about going overseas and acting like you're a millionaire when you barely got two pennies to rub together. But damn, you know, just be conscientious about the people who are asking this information from you. That's all I got for you guys today, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.